So what's going on right here, Andrew? What we have right here is a big weedy flat. Mm -hmm. You got a creek that comes in right there, and then right here is a deeper bank. So this is going to be a transition area for spawning bass cruising deeper water to come in and start spawning. How deep? Um, right now we are in 10 feet, and this flat is like five or six. The bass, because of the water clarity, they use the um, shade for cover. So I like to fish the shady banks. Right along the shade line? Right along the shade line. The fish tuck right up in the shade there, and they'll ambush usually as soon as you pull your lure out into the sunlight. And we see a nice shady line right here. Yep. Okay, you got the jig. Should I use a jig or, or I have a, a jerk bait and you rig me up with a crankbait also? What do you think I should use? Oh, you're on. He's got one already, right off the bat. I would use a jig. <laughs> I would use a jig. You just put it in the water. It was in there like five seconds. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and he okay. choked it, so they're gonna be on. Tell me how you're working that jig. Right now I have a half ounce football jig on, black and blue, and I like to slowly walk it on the bottom. Um, it depends. Once you catch a few fish, you'll be able to tell kind of how aggressive they are according to their pickup. And you might be able to walk it or hop it a little bit more aggressively. Keeping it as close to the bottom with On as bottom. much contact as possible. On bottom. On bottom. Ooh, you had another bite. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It felt like something. Hook sets are free, so. That's right. If you feel anything different, set the hook. And that's really what it is. You don't feel the bite, you just feel something different with a jig. No, um, well, actually, with big bass, you feel something different. All of a sudden, you'll feel like you're dragging through weeds or you'll just feel a little weight change. Um, the smaller fish, you can actually feel the more thump because they're kind of like picking it. The big fish will come up to it, open their mouth, and they suck it in. So you just, you don't feel that initial pickup. That's what I want. So if you feel any weight, I'm you set the, the hook, hook like time. it's your last fish I'm, you're going to I'm getting catch. ready, man. I, th I felt something different. Did it? Uh, yeah, I see Yeah, I feel a little weird and embarrassed. <laughs> but Andrew told me to. Right now, we are in the middle of spring. The water is starting to warm up after the ice out, which, believe it or not, was only a few weeks ago up here. We're basically fishing for these transition fish that are gonna start coming up in the shallow, shallow water looking for spawning locations. Um, the water is 51 degrees, and usually the fish come up and start making beds around 58 or so. So they should definitely be moving into these spawning areas. And right here, we're actually heading towards a spawning flat in this bay. So this is a transition area. We have a deeper bank that comes into a shallower flat and the fish are gonna be cruising along this bank, making their way, looking for beds over here. Now they're looking for beds, are they actively feeding? They, they are in full pre-spawn right now and they should be feeding. So they that's when they really, wanna, they really wanna load up? Yep, they should be gorging right now. They're gorging? Gorging. Okay, good, we like that. Because during the spawn, they do not eat. But people fish for bedding fish. Yeah, the people that are fishing for bedding fish are going for more of a reaction strike. It's like, um, the fish are on the bed, they're protecting their eggs, and it's more of a you aggravated the fish kind of strike versus eating. That's why they pick it up and they move it instead of holding onto it and trying to ingest it. Got it. There's a fish. Big one. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. Yep. You called it. Oh, that's a huge one. It's a monster. You want the net? I think I got a hook pretty good. Oh, yeah. Whoa. There we go. Nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at him. That's a good start. He's her. Five. He's over five. That's a her, right? That should be a her. No males that get that big, right? They do. They do? They do, but. What is she? That's over five, at least. Oh, yeah. You want to win? Yes. Five thirteen. Five thirteen. Ooh, what a horse! Nice. Let her go. Let's get her back. An Adirondack cow. Yep. 
<laughs> she was nice. right in that transition area, right in that deep hole. <laughs>